All right, welcome back. Um, so what I've got here is a, uh, a tool that I've recently acquired, um, manufactured by Pratt Whitney Aircraft, um, sometime in the 1950s, I suspect. Uh, but essentially, uh, what this is, is a, it's a, a guide for adjusting valves. Um, this one's only, um, well, it could probably work on other engines, but it's specifically for um, the R2800 or the Double Wasp. Uh, this will work for all A, B, C, E models. So um, on the back, there's, if you want to pause and read this, it's just the instructions on how to use it. Um, but essentially, uh, once you've freshly overhauled an engine or, um, you know, maybe you've changed the valve, you know, whatever the case, you need to do all the cylinders um, valve adjusting. Um, essentially, what you would do is you would line top center of the exhaust stroke of cylinder number one. And this tells you that the exhaust valve for cylinder five is currently all the way open. It's depressed. And the intake valve for cylinder 15 is fully open. Uh, so And so that means the um, cylinder springs, or the valve springs, I'm sorry, are fully compressed. Um, and what that also means is that we can adjust the exhaust valve for cylinder 11 and the intake valve for cylinder number nine. So these right now, when cylinder number one is top center of the exhaust stroke, these two valves down here um, are not currently being loaded by the push rod. So they're essentially in their fully closed position with all of the um, slack, not really slack, but the, the push rods are, are fully out. So the only thing working on the valve right now is the spring pressure. So, and, that, and that's how you would adjust those. So um, the next thing to look at is the next piston we do. So if we're gonna do all 18 cylinders, um, what you wanna do is start with cylinder one and adjust these. And then and the, the next engine in the firing order would be cylinder 12. So what we would have to do is turn this inner bit all the way around till we get to top center of the exhaust stroke, cylinder number 12. And that tells us we can adjust the intake valve for cylinder number two and the exhaust valve for cylinder number four. And we would just continue this all the way around in the firing order uh, until we've done all 18 cylinders. Um, so that's one way you would use this. Now, another way is, let's say uh, we're doing an inspection of the engine or um, you know, we did some maintenance that requires us to check valve clearance and we find that a cylinder is not in that limit. So what we do is we go find the cylinder that we want to adjust, right? So uh, let's say we need to adjust the intake of cylinder, the intake valve for cylinder number 16. So let's move this over to where that's at. So right there. Um, so that's on cylinder 16. And so what that means is we need to have the engine moved over to where top center of the exhaust stroke on cylinder number 8. Then we can make that adjustment there. And then we would just move this over to where it's on the exhaust valve of cylinder 16. And that means we need to be at top center of the exhaust stroke on cylinder 6. So um, that's what it is. It's how you use it. And uh, I think it's a pretty neat little thing.